Hello guys, welcome back to Simplified iOS and we are learning about Firebase Real-Time Database. In the last video, we successfully created the write operation in our iPhone application. As you can see the Firebase database, we have some values. So we are done with the write operation. Now we will see in this video that how we can fetch these stored value from Firebase database to our iPhone application. So let's see. As you can see, we have a list of artists with their genre. So I will create a table view and in that table view we will display all the artists. So come back to your project and first from here search table view. Now drag this table view to your storyboard and you can change the width and height according to your need and this is our table view. Now first go to here and you can see the table view properties and here we will set the prototype cells to 1. So we have one prototype cells now. Now we will give it a cell ID. So, so select this prototype cell and in the property of table view cell we can give it an ID. So I am giving cell. So we have our prototype cell. Now in this prototype cell, we will drag and drop two labels. In the first label, we will display the artist name. And in the second label, we will display the artist genre. So find label. And drag drop. You can also increase the width of this prototype cell. So we have two labels now. Enlarge it. Now we will create a class for our custom prototype cell. So that's it. For this, we will create a new class. Go to File and select File. And from here, select Cocoa Touch class. Now hit Next. And you can give the class name as View Controller Table View Cell. And make sure it should be a subclass of UI table view cell and the language will be Swift as we are working on Swift. So hit next and create. So we have our class. Now we have to define this class as our table view cell. So again go to main.storyboard and select your prototype cell and from this inspector we can change the class so our class name is view controller table view cell so we have defined the custom class that we just created now we will connect these two labels with our custom class for this click here to open assistant editor and open your class in one window now select your label, press control and drag it to your class. Now you can write a name as LBL name. And the same we will do for this label genre, LBL genre. So we have connected our labels that we created here with our class now that's it for the table view now as our artist contains two elements so with a normal array we can't store it so we will define a model class to store our artist so again create a new file now select suit file and create artist model So we have our artist model. Now create a class artist model. Now here we will define all the attributes of our artist. As you can see we have three attributes. ID, name and genre. So define and 
all the three attributes are string so we will define where id string where name string where generate string now we will define an init where we will initialize these attributes so in init we will pass all the three attributes id string name string and generate string now just call self dot id equals to id self dot name equals to name you don't need to put semicolon or you can put a semicolon as well it doesn't matter in swift self generate equals to generate now that's it for our model class now come back to your view controller dot swift and drag this table view so again press control and drag it to your code and you can put table r tests and hit connect so we have our table view in our view controller now we don't need assistant editor and here first we will define an array to store all the r tests so for defining an array we can write let me zoom it where r test list equals to will will store r test model and it would be an array so we have our r test model now to fetch all the r test come inside your did load method and here we will attach an observer to our firebase reference so for this just write ref artist your firebase reference dot observe okay and here we will write fir data event type data event type and it would be value so any value when we will change any value in firebase database it will be called and then with we will use snapshot so we will use with snapshot and in now this method will be called whenever we will ch we change any data in our firebase database now here we will check with this snapshot object that if if snapshot snapshot is dot children count is greater than zero that means we have some data in firebase database then we will fetch all the data so first we will clear all the artist from this list so we will write artist list dot remove all it will remove all the existing artist now we will run a loop through all the artist so we will write for our tests in oops i forgot to write self so write self dot our test list dot remove all so here we will run a loop for our tests in snapshot dot children dot all objects and we will take it as fir data snapshot that's it now it will loop through all the artist now we will get the artist let artist object equals to artists artists dot value and as string any object so it will fetch the artist node 
now we will get all the values with this artist object so again let artist name equal to artist object dot question mark and we will pass the key so we have artist name and we'll do the same for generate and same for the artist for id we have written id in our firebase database as you can see here id artist name and artist generate so we have all the values now we will create our artist model so we'll write let artist we'll create an artist equals to artist model we have artist model this is and we'll pass all the values so we have id artist id then and it is as string then we have name artist name as string and then we have artist genre so we have genre artist genre as string now we will add this artist to our artist list so for this we can use the append method so we will write self dot append self dot artist list dot append and we'll pass our artist so it will store all our artist inside this list now once this will happen we will do table view here table view self let me zoom it self dot table view tbl artists dot reload data we will reload all the data of the table view okay now we have to override two methods that will load the data or handle the table view so for this we will do for this first we will define the delegate and data source for our table view so select your table view press control and drag it to your view controller and select data source and again press control drag and this time select delegate and now we will inside view controller dot swift we will extend ui view controller and ui table view delegate and ui table view data source so ui table view delegate and ui table view data source now we will override two methods one will return the number of list item that means the number of rows in our table view and other one will return the items of each cell of our table view okay so for this we will write public function table view and from here we will select this method let me find it yeah this method and implement this method and inside this method we will define our rows of the table view so here we will write let cell equals to table view dot dq reusable cell and it is with identifier and you know we have given the cell identifier as cell and for index path and for this index path we will use this index path so just make it index path and it would be as our custom class for the table view cell that we created 
so we have the cell now now we will let the artist so we will create a let artist and we will define an object of artist model now we will write artist we will initialize this artist using our array list and we'll get the position of the defined row with this index path so we will write artist equal to artist list and we will write index path dot row so it will give us the artist of that particular position now we, we can use this artist to set the genre and uh, artist name of our artist so we will write cell dot lbl name dot artist dot text equals to artist dot name and then cell dot lbl genre dot text equals to artist dot genre so we have the artist name and artist genre in our cell now just return this cell in this method so we have the cell now we will define one more method and it will be just write public function table view and it would be number of rows in section method so fine yeah this method now this will return the number of rows that is in our table view so we can get the number of rows with this artist list as the number of object contains by this artist list is the number of rows in our table view so we can write here artist list dot count so write return artist list dot count now that's it now try running the application and it should now fetch the values so let's play build a succeed now let's check whether it is working or not yeah you can see we have all the values that were in our firebase database now if we will add new values like let's add mohit chauhan one of my favorite singer oops and chandra would be love now hit add artist you can see artist added we have a new node in our firebase database and also mohit chauhan is added in our list so whenever we will add a new artist in the list like nusrat fateh ali khan sufi add artist and you can see we have a new artist on in our list view you can see nusrat fateh ali khan here. so our application is working fine and we completed the fetch operation or read operation so in the first video we did the write operation and in this video we did the read operation now in the next video we will we will do the update operation and the delete operation so if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also like this video and share this video and if you are having any confusions or troubles you can leave your comments below the video and i will try to help you out and thanks for watching see you in the next video